What's up, freaks? We're getting get, getting set up to get started on a cardio Tuesday workout. All you need for this workout is one medicine ball. If you have a big medicine ball, get a big medicine ball. If you don't have a big one, use a dead weight, like one of these. A dead weight. You don't want to use a hard bouncing ball because there's going to be lots of slams here. And you don't want that ball bouncing up in your freaking face because it will smash you. So we're just getting set up here. We're doing this live in the VIP. So get a ball ready, get set. The warm up is going to actually include the way this round is going to go. We're going to hit four different types of slams every round. So you'll have one exercise per round. You'll see what I mean in a second. Like, let's get warmed up with just saying that our exercise is jogging in place because this is actually going to be our warm up and then we're going to stretch. So, we're going to first get moving and then stretch. So, a real light round just to get you to show you how the flow is going to go for this workout, how it's all going to break down. So, you're going to be holding your ball the entire time. So, let's say that our exercise here is jogging in place. We're just going to get four. Steps, four reps of jogging in place. Literally, one, two, three, four, and then two straight slams. One, two. So this whole set will be that exercise with that type of slam. So the exercise is jogging in place. We're gonna do four rounds of that. This entire first round is just two regular slams. So jogging place for four. So whatever the exercise is has a specific amount of reps, and then two slams, just standing straight slams. One, two, three, four on the exercise. So the exercise has a rep. And the slam is always going to be just two. One, two, three, four. And slam for two. One, two, three, four. Slam it. Boom. Boom. Jog it out. And slam. So this is just a warm-up round. So we're going to do really short sets here just to get your blood flowing, just to get you warming up. So the next is going to be the same exercise, except you're going to do two Twisting slams, one left, one right. So it'll be one full set with that exercise standing slam. Now we're gonna repeat the same exercise, the same reps. So for this warm round, the exercise is just jumping in place, or sorry, running in place. One, two, three, four. Now watch out, two twist slams, one each side. Whatever direction you're twisting to, the opposite foot and hip is gonna pivot. One, two, three, four on the jog, and twist. One, two, three, four. Twist slam. Twist slam. Jog it in place. Boom. Boom. So that will be the second round of each exercise. Will be for twist slam. You'll have a very short break in between, and you'll repeat that same exercise for a third round with a third type of slam, which is going to be kneeling slam. Yes. Yeah, yes for you. I got to get my long, lanky ass all the way down to the floor. So exercise stays the same, the reps stay the same. One, two, three, four. Get out your knees quickly and safely for one, two. Right back to the exercise. Sometimes the exercise is gonna be standing, sometimes it'll be down on the ground, like push-ups, mountain climbers, whatever it is. So just, if you see how, let me back up here. So you can see how I'm getting to the ground quickly. My hands are on the ball, and I'm easing my knees onto the floor for the two slams. I'm pushing my hands off the ball to get right back up. Transition to the run, right back down for kneeling, for two slams, right back up, one, two, three, four, right down to the knees, for boom, boom, and time. So that was the third round. Each exercise, I said, gets four sets, four rounds, right? The last one for each round will be jumping slams. I think that's supposed to be third, but we're doing it fourth. Jumping slam. We may change that if we get warmed up. We just don't want to be jumping so early in. We want to get those few sets in. So now it's jogging in place. The fourth set of the same exercise with the four type of, fourth type of slam. One, two, three, four. Jump slam for two. Right back to the exercise. Jump slam for two. One, two, three, four. And good. This is just a few reps of each just to show you how it's going to go. We're going to progressively build up and do some secondary warm-up rounds. But first, we want to stretch out here. So now we got moving a little bit. It's just fling those shoulders. 
while you're walking forward and backwards, flinging the shoulders, right arm goes on top, right arm on bottom, and trip over your wall. And now catch it for a stretch. Walk forward holding the left shoulder, fling it, walk backwards holding the right shoulder. Just to keep moving. Fling it, forward holding the left. Fling it, backwards holding the right. Just getting loosened up, just getting started. We got tons and tons of sets to get to. Fling it, and the other side. All right, let's go with those quad stretches. Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. Rotate between those four. So you know the four types of slams. Those are gonna stay all day. We just switch out which exercise replaces that jogging in place. So each round, each exercise, like the jogging place, gets done four times. Four sets for all the four different types of slams. You follow those instructions? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. So you can explain back to me how it goes? That's how much you understand yeah. it? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Then that means if you can get it, then they can get it. Because sometimes it sounds confusing as hell. You do four sets of this, four different types of slams, with the same exercise, with the same amount of reps, and then the two slams. Sounds confusing, but it's not that freaking confusing. All right. Let's get ready for the second round. So we're going to hit some stretches in between here because we're going to gradually build up to the higher intensity stuff. So we are going to go now just with jumping jacks. Jumping jack is our exercise. Easy stuff. Jumping jack for two reps. Slam for two reps. We're back to the first version of the slam, the regular standing slam. So the ball is at your chest for two jacks. Two slams. Two jacks. Two slams. Breathe it out. Jack, jack, slam, slam. And if you don't have something you can slam, get a book bag filled with some, some clothes or some towels or something and slam it on the floor or just find something heavy and go through the motion without slamming it. Who's that creeper? Go with the knife. Go with the knife. Jack, jack, slam, slam. Two jack, two slam. So it's still a secondary warm round, so we're not going to do a ton of them. One more. Jack. Jack. Slam. Slam. So now we're going to stick with the jack. With the two jacks, we're going to hit variation number two of the slam, which was the twisting boom slam. So two jacks, two twisting slams. Coming up in three, three two, one. Begin. Two jacks. Twist slam, twist slam. Two jacks, if you went to the right the first time, last time, now go to the left first. Twist, twist. Two jacks, right, left. Whatever side you're slamming to, that opposite side should pivot and turn. I went left right there, so the next time, I'm gonna go right, left. Boom, boom. Time. So we're gonna stick with those two jacks and go to the kneeling slam. We're gonna stick with kneeling slam third. Later on, we're gonna pick kneeling slam fourth and jump slam will be third. But we're still warming up, so we're just getting into the groove. You don't need to break after that. That shit was a joke. That was a freaking joke. You're just getting warmed up. Two jacks. One, two, down for one, two. Right back up. One, two. Quickly, smoothly, without bashing your kneecaps. One, two. Right back up. Boom. Boom. Kneeling, bam. Bam. Ooh, two jacks. What am I doing? I'm doing standing jacks. I was doing standing slam. Two jacks, two kneeling slams. Just getting rolling. Jack. Jack. To knees, boom, boom. Just starting to get the body temperature up. Just getting the heart rate going. I keep doing slam standing. I know, whenever I go down, boom. Boom, boom, time. I'm gonna switch this ball out. It's like a weird thing, please. Turn it down. All right, shake it, stretch it. So jumping jack stays the same. And we add in Jumping slam. Two jump. Move it. Two jumping jack. Two jumping slams. I'm just playing around with different balls here. 
playing with the balls, seeing which one's gonna work the best. Two jumping jack, two jump slams. Hold that your chest for the jacks. Let's do it. Jack, jack, then squat, jump, slam, slam, jack, jack, slam, slam, boom, boom, flow right into it. So it's constant movement. One move sets up the next move. Two jacks, two jump slams. Still just to warm up rounds, so we're not going to do a ton of them. Time. Shake it. Shake it out, stretch it. Stretch your shoulders. Keep it loose. Hydrate. Stretch your quads. So check it out. This round is going to have a push-up. So it's just two push-ups, two slams. So you're gonna have to get up and down quickly. So technically it's gonna be like a squat thrust to a push-up. Have the ball right to your side so it's not in the way of your chest for the push-up. Get ready for it. Stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, stretch your tries. Getting ready for this set. All right, let's do it. So two push-ups. Oh, these lights work. I don't know, this is all. Two push-ups, two slams. Let's go in three, two, one. Just have this next to you. So you're just gonna put it down the side, jump back, two push-ups, jump in, Slams. Right to it. Wherever you can put it, that's not in your way. It might be above your shoulder, but don't screw up your push ups. You have to literally squat thrust to get up and down. Two push up, two slams. Now we're starting to get some more work in. Starting to get some more work in. Two push up, two slam. Keep it rolling. Two. Shh. Shh. Scoop it up. And then two slam. Boom. Right to it. Scoop it. Boom. Boom. Pump it out. Now we're working. So don't forget, we need four sets of the push ups. One for each of the four slams. So this is just the first one. It's gonna be end up being four sets of push-ups. A decent amount of reps. Time. So in between sets, you'll have a couple seconds to shake it out to get ready for the next set. So now we have push-ups and then two twist slams. Twist slams coming up after the push-up. Keep those shoulders loose. Get that chest pumped. Chest ready to roll. Going in three, two, one. Begin. So two push-ups. Two twist slams. We're gonna end up hitting the ball one time. That's gonna bounce on someone's face. Depends on what angle it hits. It's gonna like. Ricochet. Yep. Ooh. Two push ups, two twist slams. You can see me when I'm push up here. To the top of my body. Two push ups. Facebook changed the angle of their camera this way. You used to be able to see your entire body from this distance, and now you can't see this entire body anymore. Because after Facebook Live, same place it's always been, but now you don't see when I'm in the bottom position. Because that. That camera is like at least 10 feet away. Push up. Two twist slams. 
Smash it, twist it, turn the hips. Pivot the feet. Push-ups to kneeling slams. Yes! So this one's actually why oh, yes. What's so exciting about kneeling slams? Yes! This one you don't even have to get up and down. It's gonna make this a little brighter. Because this is can't see it that well. It's just gonna kill a battery, but whatever. So this one, you don't even have to get up, it's just two push-ups. Come up to your knees, two slams. Keep those shoulders loose. So we got two more sets of push-ups. We're barely just getting started with this thing. Barely getting started. All right. Can you even see me down here? Sort of. All right, two push-ups, two kneeling slams. In three, two, one, go. Two push-ups, right to your knees. Boom, boom. Drop right to that push-up, get your knees off the floor, bam. Bam, leave it to the chest, shoulders, tries, kneel all the way upright. Reach all the way overhead for that slam. Just let it flow, there's constant movement. You never stop moving. Even if you're moving a little slower, keep it rolling, keep it moving. Oh yeah. Now we're starting to get warmed up. Starting to get that body temperature up there. As we're getting into these real sets. Push, or two, kneeling slam, two, scoop it up, let's go a few more, this is already the third set of push ups, the third slam, I need you, we got one more, which is our favorite, the jumping slam. Boom! Boom! Time! Alright, shake those out. Get those shoulders and chest ready. Shake it. Stretch it. Keep that chest loose. So we got two push ups to two jump slams. The fourth and final set of the push ups. Cruising. Cruising along. All right. Yeah, just small stuff, not even the bars or nothing, not the good stuff. Just the chips, that's it. It's all over here. To reorder all those. All right. Let's do it. As I spit all over myself, two push ups, two jump slams going in three, two, one. Go! Scoop it up. Boom. Boom. Right back down there. Let it flow. Find a rhythm. Jump. Slam. Right back down. Two jump slams. Big jump slams. Get up there. Get up there. It's the last set of push ups. Jump right from that bottom position as you're coming up from the push-up. Scoop that ball up from the side on your way up and jump. Push, jump, scoop, jump. Boom, boom. A couple more, a couple more. One, two pushes. Ah, shake it, stretch it, get ready. Coming up next is just a squat to front kick. So you're gonna go squat to front kick right, squat to front kick left, and two slams. Four sets. Cruising along. Get those quads ready. 
upper body should already be pumped up just from moving that ball up and down so many times. Four sets of push-ups already. We already got a ton of work in and we're barely just getting started. Stretch those quads, glutes, hip flexors, chest, shoulders, tries, hamstrings, active recovery, every break, every chance you get. Active recovery. So you're holding the ball at your chest. Squat, front kick right, squat, front kick left, two slams. So secondly, just two squat front kicks. One on each side. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one, let's roll. Squat, kick right, squat, kick left, two slams. Squat, kick left. We're gonna alternate which arm, which leg goes first. And all right. Squat, kick, squat, kick, slam, slam. Try to alternate which leg is going first. Just for the hell of it. Tons of work going on here. You're using your entire body in all these sets. We are. Moving, pumping, working. Bam. Bam. Boom. Boom. Hi. All right. So we got squat front kick to twisting slams coming up. This is the second set of the squat to front kick. All right, let's do it. Start your chest. Squat, kick, squat, kick. You get it, you come right back to the squat. It's constant movement. So you never stop moving. Alternate which leg goes first, so left on the kick first, now left on the twist first. Now right on the kick first. And then left, right on the twist first. Just so we're hitting both directions. Constant movement. This entire time. Bash it. I want to hear thunder when you're smashing that ball. Boom. One more, one more. Bend and extend. Bam. Pivot. Bam. Time. So now we have squat to kick, followed by Kneeling slam, two kneeling slam, two squat to kick, two kneeling slam, set three of this exercise. In between, you only have these couple seconds, stretch those legs out, keep those arms loose. It's a lot of lifting overhead for this ball. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one, rolling, squat, kick, squat, kick. Pops your knees, and boom, boom. Pop right back to your feet. Hold that your chest, squat and kick. Squat, kick, right to your knees, for boom, boom. <laughs> squat, bam, squat, boom. Kneeling for a smash, smash. Pop right up. Let it flow. Each move, set up the next move. So it's constant movement in your body. See right from here, I'm coming right to that squat kick. Right to the next one. Bam. And two slams. One more. 
Right from the bottom. Bam. Bam. What? Yeah. Some squishing. It's all my lard. Boom. Time. One more set coming up with the squat to front kick. And that's with the jump slam. So these are going to flow one right to the next because you're going to be in position already. You're going to be in that squat position. So this is going to flow. It will flow. What happened there? I'm froze out there for a second. All right. Let's do it. Fourth and final set of squat to front kick. Let's do it. Squat, kick right, squat, kick left, jump slam for two, get some air. Oh yeah, legs are gonna be fried on this one. Right to the squat and kick. Squat and kick. And then jump, slam for two. Woo, boom. Squat, boom. Squat, kick, squat, kick, jump slam, bam, smash it, smash it, one more, each side, last one, left leg going first, one more, and boom, boom, oh yeah, you should do those right, and you hit that pace up, you're feeling in your legs right now, you're feeling in your heart rate, you're feeling in your body temperature, oh yeah, so next, even though technically, on the push-ups, technically on the push-ups, you did a squat thrust to get down there, so on these breaks, when I'm explaining the next round, make sure you're stretching, you're hydrating, you're getting ready for the next round. But this one's going to be just a squat thrust. So it's going to be much more of a flow. When we did the push-ups, you might have stepped back, you might have squat thrusted back. But this one's going to be a full jumping squat thrust. If you need to modify it, you do a walking squat thrust. So it's going to be just one squat thrust and then the two slams. For four rounds, the four different slams, the standing the twisting, the kneeling, and the jumping. So four rounds, four sets of the squat thrust coming up in about 15 seconds. Stretch those legs out. And then try not to bust your ass. Watch your surroundings. Situational awareness. Almost just stepped on my ball there. And wipe the hell out. Stretch the chest. Get the upper body loose. Because even though it's a squat thrust, you're gonna be working that upper body to hold yourself in place. We're going in five seconds. Oh no. So squat thrust is gonna be quick. It's gonna be fast. Like that push-up before, sure the two push-ups start getting hard at the end, but it slowed you down. That was a chance to go slower. This is no chance to slow down. This is bing bang boom. Bing bang boom! Going in three, two, one. Roll, so squat thrust, you can even put your hands on the ball to get a faster flow. It's gonna be a little cheat on the squat thrust, but it's gonna keep a crazy pace. Two slams, catch it, right back in. This is a fast pace set right here. Smash it. Boom, boom. There it is. Pump it. Boom. Head up, chest out. On that slam, make sure you're sitting on the heels on that slam. Controlling yourself on the squat thrust. Go three more. There's one. Two. And time. So now you know we got squat thrust to twisting slam. Two twisting slams coming up. Squat thrust to two twist 
slams. We are cruising. Cruising! Still tons of sets to get to. Shake those arms out. The shoulders are starting to start getting worn out a little bit because you're non-stop reaching overhead. So make sure you're controlling your shoulders. Staying loose in between. Controlling your movements. Going in three, two, one, go. So we got squat thrust. Two, twist slam. Down, out, in, and up. Slam, slam. Let's try to give you an angle so you can kind of see whoa, how it's going. So you can bust your ass like that. As I'm trying to look at the camera to see if I can see myself and miss the ball. Bounce yourself on the ball. And boom. Boom. Got to catch me. Do a half a wipeout. Squat thrust, two twist slams. Make sure you're alternating which side you're twisting to first. And look, you're pivoting that opposite side foot. Whatever direction you slam to, turn the hip and pivot that opposite foot. Keep it rolling. Shake it, shake it, shake it. So now we have the kneeling slam. So listen, halfway through the squat thrust, that bottom position, you're just gonna come to your knees so we can get a flow going. Or if you stand up and wanna kneel back down, whatever way you can get a flow going the most, just make it a smooth transition. Make sure you're jumping your feet back, jumping your feet forward. Stop on the knees in the middle for your two slams. Show you how to do it to let it transition. Let's roll. Start with your ball in your hands. Three, two, one, go. So squat down, jump back, right to your knees. One, two, get back to the push up position and then jump forward and stand up, taking the ball with you. That's where I was going. I didn't bring the ball with me before. No, I did not. Right. All right, squat thrust, smooth to your knees, boom, boom, feet back, jump forward, right back down. So you're stopping midway through the squat thrust for these two slams, make sure your feet go back. Boom, boom. So make sure you're jumping forward with both legs. So feet are... I'm kneeling here. After my two slams, my hands are on the ball. My feet extend back to the push-up position. Then I jump forward to stand up. Now get in that flow on your own. Go. A little rhythm to it. And boom. Boom. I know. I keep wanting to up here. Find a rhythm that works for you. To do it a little different, stand up in between, do what you gotta do. Abs tight the whole way through. Two more. Last one. You slammed on I know, I slammed to the top. Just for fun, finish it off, time. All right, we have squat thrust to two jump slams coming up. And listen, if your wrists or your hands start cramping up from balancing on the ball, just put your hands on the side of the ball. Look, when you bring it down, you can do this. So it's in your hands, you can put it on the floor, put your hands to the side, and then scoop it up. So I'm gonna do that round just to show you. Just to get a different feel. It, it shouldn't slow you down. You can scoop it on your way up. No big deal. You got this. Fourth and final set for the squat thrust. Let's go in three, 
two, one, rolling. So we got squat thrust to two jump slams. All right, down to the next one. The fast paced round. Don't slump over. Keep those abs tight. So on the squat thrust, putting your hands to the side is actually making you get a full deep squat thrust instead of balancing your hands on the wall. Then we work our balance. Yeah. For you, that ball is up to your waist. Two jump slams. Three more. Thrusts are done for their four rounds. All right, coming up, squat thrust a very fast paced round using more cardio conditioning. This is going to be a much slower round because we're doing crawl outs. Same game, except now the ball will be right in between your feet to start. So you have a wide stance. The ball right here between your feet. You'll squat down, crawl all the way out to the push-up position, crawl in, and hit whatever slams you're on. Four sets, shake it out, keep those arms loose. So now you're working your arms for the crawl out and for the slam. So some of these rounds, you're getting double lower body sets. Some of them like this is more double upper body. Still working your legs, getting up and down. A lot more arms involved here than the squat thrust. And then you still gotta slam the freaking ball each time. Shake it, stretch it, we got about 15 seconds. Before we start the round, hydrate, active recovery, get ready to roll. So we got crawl outs to slams. You want your stance wider than shoulder width. Last stretch on those legs, quads, glutes. All right, we're going to crawl out. Put your feet wider than shoulder width. The ball is right in between my feet, so I can scoop it up as I come up, so I can flow right into my two slams. Going in three, two, one, rolling. All the way out, all the way in, scoop it. Place it down right as you go out into that full push up position. So it's a much slower pace than the squat thrust, but it's just steady movement. Non stop moving. You never stop moving. Slam and go right out to the crawl out. Right back in. Scoop it. Two slams. Place it down right into the next one. Squat down to get down there. Push up position, bring it back in. Ah! Crawl out to twist slams. Coming up. Shake those arms out between. You know, in between these regular rounds, it's just a second for recovery, and then we go right back to it. Move around, move around, keep that blood flowing. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Twist slams coming up, don't forget. Whatever direction you're slamming to, the opposite foot will pivot and turn. Crawl out to twist slam. Alternate which side you go to first on the slam. Damn, I'm spitting all over myself today. Three, two, one, go. go. All the way out. Back in. Ooh. <laughs> twist slam left. Twist slam right. Right to the crawl out. Just place it down there under control, right in stride. Now go to the other side first. Right to the crawl out. Steady, strong movements. All the 
way out there, full push up position. Right there. There it is. Alternate which side. You slam two first. coming up. It's four in a row of the same exercise, so we don't need a very long round because you're going to get plenty of reps in for the crawl out. It's also a short break in between, so we're going to go right to it. Here's the kneeling slam, so when you crawl back in, you'll transition right to your knees to hit your two kneeling slams. Quick little stretch and shake, getting ready. down for the crawl out. One more to go. That's with the jumping slam. Our favorite of the four slams types, right? No. Yeah, you like the kneeling one, don't you, sucker? Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. Jumping slam, the fastest, the hardest, and it's also the final set for each round. So hydrate here, recover, Shake it out, stretch it out, get ready, get ready. One more set of quads. Last stretch of the quads, we're going in three, we're going in two, we're going in one. Roll it! Right from this bottom position, go right to your jump. Then flow right back out. Right from here, jump. Shell position. Let's keep it moving. Blood is flowing. Smash it. A few more. Keep the pace. Stay strong. Last two. All the way out. All the way in. Jump. Slam. Ha! Crawl outs are done. Officially over. 
Shake and stretch it. It's going to be a very short break. We're going to go to some real fast paced rounds here to keep this rolling. Different jacks and presses. Oh, wow. Still a lot to get to. What? A lot to get to. Oh. All right, we're going to combine several rounds together here. <laughs> to make this a long round. It's going to be all on your feet. A long round. It's going to include jack press up, jack press out, split jack press up, and split jack press out. So we're basically going to rotate. So we'll start with jack press up. You're going to do all four slams in a row for jack press up. So while you're catching your breath, it's going to be a long round, so I'll give you a little extra break. So you're going to do jack press up for two, two regular slams. Jack press up for two, two, two twist, twist slams. slams. Jack press up for two, two kneeling slams. Jack press up for two, two jump slams. So we're going to combine all the slams together with the jack press up. Once we hit that rotation, it's going to be jack press out for all four slams. Then split jack press up where the feet go front to back with all four slams and split jack press out for all four slams. That's 16 variations we're going to do in this one set. I'll call it out ahead of time. I'll keep you focused. But if you've been following along here, you know how this template goes. So you really should be able to figure that out. It shouldn't be that hard to follow along, but I'll still call it out ahead of time to keep you on track. It's going to be 16 straight sets, 16 different in a row. This is where we're working on our focus. And this is still not the last round of the day. We still got more to get to after this. We'll go into overtime. It doesn't matter. It's all about results. It's all about sweating. It's all about murdering fat. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So... It's two reps of each jack press and two slams. So after you have the first round, you really should know how this goes already, but jack press up for two. So jack press up for two. One, two, two slams. Jack press up for two. Two twist slams. You can just rotate between the slams. Jack press up for two. Two kneeling slams. Jack press up for two. Two jump slams. Now jack press out for two. Two regular slams. Jack press out for two. Two twist slams. Jack press out for two. Two kneeling slams. Jack press out for two. Two jumping slams. Split jack press up. For two, two regular slams. Jack press up for two. Two twist slams. Split jack press up for two. Two kneeling slams. Two jack press, split jack press up for two. Two jump slams. Split jack press out for two. One, two. Two regular slams. Split jack press out for two. Two twist slam. Two split jack press out for two. Two kneeling slam. Two split jack press out for two. Jump slam. Five. Woo. Arms are done. Only good news is. You did all 16 straight through. What? Bad news is, we're repeating that entire round of all 16 again. Because now you have a better idea how it flows. So we can go through it a little smoother, a little faster. I'll still call it out. Although I wish you just can watch and follow along. Because calling that shit out, talking the entire time, you should do it. You should be talking at home. Just yelling out everything you're doing as we're doing it. That shit makes you twice out of breath. It actually makes you sweat more. Who would have thunk it? Talking and babbling will make you burn more calories and get more out of breath. That's science lesson right here at Peak Physique. 
So if this is on YouTube, it wouldn't get demonetized. So you could just talk and talk because you're doing a teaching on the science lesson. But now you just put that gun in the picture so it's demonetized. Oh no. <laughs> all right. So we're doing all 16. Who's got all 16 down? Who thinks they could do all 16? If you're watching this on recording, put in the comment if you think you know all 16. And don't cheat. Don't go pause and rewind that shit. Who thinks they got all 16 straight through? If you know the four types of jacks, you already know the four types of slams in order because we've done them for the last hour. So you probably know all 16. You don't realize that you do, but you probably do. All right. Let's roll. Starting with that jack. Press up for two reps. Going in three, two, one, and go. Jack press up for two, two slams. Jack press up for two, two twist slams. Jack press up for two, two kneeling slams. So we're moving, we're moving here. Jack press up for two, two jump slams. Jack press out for two. Two regular slam. Jack press out for two. Two twist slam. Jack press out for two. Two kneeling slams. This is constant movement. Jack press out for two. Two jump slams. What happened to this? Session exp